In this video, I want to put forward the idea that the expanding and contracting cosmological branches of cyclic cosmology can be explained by this simple process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. Within such a process, the low entropy at the Big Bang would be formed by spherical symmetry, with the same process unfolding here and now and throughout interstellar space. The exponential expansion of the future expanding universe is equivalent to the Big Bang. When I use the word equivalent, I mean based on the same continuous geometrical process. This can be explained by using Einstein's equation that tells us that mass and energy are equivalent and Max Planck's equation that tells us energy and frequency are equivalent. From these equations it is logical to say that mass and frequency are equivalent. Therefore any stable particle which has mass is a clock with a frequency oscillation that can be measured as a period of time. As a process or continuum, the exception to this is the light photon oscillation that has no mass. Also, if you go back in time to the theoretical idea of the Big Bang singularity, there is also no mass. In the theory explained in these videos, this is because the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy is equivalent to the Big Bang, or the Big Bounce in the cyclic cosmological models. Just as we have photon energy levels cascading down from the Sun, we also have photon energy levels cascading down from the Big Bang, representing an apex, or a beginning, in our timeline, seen from our line of sight, from the center of the observable universe. But this in no way represents the beginning of the universe that is infinite and eternal in this theory. At the largest scale, the universe can be represented as a sphere of potentiality, forming an infinity of possibilities, with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder. Within such a process, the greatest probability is that greater beauty and symmetry will arise. It is possible to have an infinite universe within a finite sphere as long as the sphere is continuously expanding. This can be visualized in fractal geometry where we have infinite diversity on the border of a finite geometrical object. In such a theory, the universe would be a continuum of continuous energy exchange forming the time dilation of Einstein's relativity, with the energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a universal process of continuous creation. This can be visualized using hyperbolic geometry, with every point and every direction being relative to each other. We have here the hyperbolic plane that can represent the universe and the time dilation of Einstein's relativity. The smaller the pattern gets, the greater the contraction of space and time. It would take an infinite amount of energy to get to the edge of the universe that is represented by the infinite nature of the pattern. With a little visualization, you can imagine that whatever point represented you within the pattern would contract relative to your energy and momentum. An arc would expand relative to this energy and momentum, giving the impression that you are in the center, when in fact we can see that the edge of the plane is infinite. Any point in the pattern would see itself at the center relative to the energy and momentum of its own actions. At the smallest scale, of the process, this energy is represented by the spontaneous absorption and emission of photon energy, 
relative to the atoms of the periodic table. It is this process of energy exchange that forms the ever-changing world of our everyday life that we see and feel as a period of time. We have photon energy cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, forming the passage or continuum of time. There is no concept of time at all in the subatomic world within the atoms. All we have is the distribution of charge into three parts, representing three-dimensional space. This is because the continuum of time is formed by light waves interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds the atoms. In this theory, the atoms are standing waves in time, with the future unfolding photon by photon, with each new photon-electron coupling, or dipole, moment. Whenever the atoms bond or break, there is an exchange of photon energy, with the future unfolding relative to the structure of the atoms. The wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. In such a theory, classical physics represents processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations, with quantum mechanics representing the physics of time itself as a physical process, with Heisenberg's uncertainty principle representing the uncertainty of everyday life at the smallest scale of the process. In these videos, I say that we have a geometrical process that is relative to the atoms of the periodic table. But at high temperatures, we have a phase change in matter, with the same geometrical process unfolding over a much larger scale, with charge being able to cover a large area of interstellar space. It is hard to get your head around the idea that the very small world of our everyday life can be based on the same geometry as the large objects of interstellar space. But if you light a candle on the International Space Station in zero gravity, it will naturally form a sphere that will have the same geometry as the largest star in interstellar space. Below I have placed a link to a video that explains the mathematics that represents this geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.